Greetings After Effectsers, let's take a look at making a fiery ball go through a basket. Whoa, okay. So, let's have a look at, here's the original footage. Okay, so first thing I need to do, I want to motion track the ball going through the hoop. Okay, so let's say I'm going to start about here. All right, so first thing I'll do, I'm going to put a new null object in here, rename this ball. That's going to be the null for our motion tracking. And then click on the bottom layer and select track motion. There we are. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to move this on to the ball. So I'm going to select the whole ball. Okay. And I'm going to hit the Analyze Forward button. There it goes. And just stop it there as it goes out of shot. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this to our motion target. Apply. X and Y, all good. I'm just going to hit the U key because I just want to get rid of the last few keyframes as it goes off the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to manually put a couple of extra keyframes in myself just for when the tracking lost the ball at the edge. The rest of it all looks fine to me. Okay, and maybe just smooth that out a little. But okay, so here we go. So I'm now going to create a fiery ball. Okay, and I'm also just going to trim this a little just so I can see clearly where my layer starts. So what I now need a new solid. Any color, it doesn't matter. I'm going to call it fireball. Oh yes. Again, I'll just trim it to here. Just so it's where I'm going to start. And on this I'm going to put the effect turbulent noise. Alright. Then I'm going to change the settings to dynamic and increase the contrast. Looks pretty good. And then I'm going to add to this colorama. I'm going to make it, whoa, psychedelic. But if I go to the output cycle on the colorama effect, I'll change that to fire. All right. And then on this, I'm going to add CC sphere. Boom, we've got ourselves a ball. Okay, if I want to make this spin a little, I might add the time expression to the Y rotation. Let's say time times, oh, what shall we have? Type it correctly, times 100. Okay, the spinning and Obviously, we're going to make this smaller, so I'm going to decrease the radius, maybe to about 28. Okay, position the layer on the ball and permit that layer to our null object. So now the ball all right, goes through, looks pretty good. Yeah, covering the ball there a little bit. A little bit off there, I can just adjust that null object. Oops, adjust the the null. No, there we go, just to make sure it keeps in the right place. I'll just have that staying. There we go. So a little, a few little adjustments. Just want to keep it inside the basket. Okay. Close it up for jazz. That's it. So now I'm going to add a layer on top of this basket of the basket so that it, the ball can pass through the basket. At the moment it's going outside and we've got a miss. So I'm going to duplicate this bottom layer. I'm just going to move. All I need is this layer from here. And as the ball goes through, I'll leave a bit for the flame so I can split this layer just so I can see which part I need to work on. 
And now what I've got to do here is I've got to freeze frame this layer. Freeze frame, okay. So I don't want to see the original ball going through the net. So the problem is now, and I'm going to mask this out with my pen tool. So I'm just going to cut out the net. Okay, I'd probably spend a little more time getting a, a more refined mask, but there we go. So of course the problem now we've got is we've got this net doesn't match the footage anymore. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to motion track this again. So I'm going to track motion bottom layer. I'm going to select here, so this this little point here on the net. I'll create a new null object, and I'll call this null net. Okay, again, just just like to trim things so I can see where they start. You don't have to, and I'm just going to track this forward. That's all I need. Okay, I'm going to motion target I'm going to choose my net and apply okay so now I can parent this duplicated layer to the net and move that on top so now the oops I've got it in the wrong place so There we go. Parent that to the net. That's what we want. Yeah, like so. There. So now it goes through the the net. So I'll pop that on top. So we've got the ball disappears now. Okay. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. So what I now need to do is make the ball visible again. So I'm going to use the extract effect, which is the replacement effect for the uh, Luma key, okay, which has now become one of the obsolete effects. And if I change the black point there, okay, we can start to see the ball through the net because we've keyed out the darker areas. And I'm just going to hit T on this so that this sort of fades out and also I'm going to just hit M twice just add a little feather into the mask help it blend in okay so we've now got the ball going through the net and we can see the ball because we've keyed out the darker parts all good so far now we just need some flames. So I'm going to go to layer, new solid. Okay, and again, just going to have this start where the ball starts. And on this, I'm going to put the particle systems 2 effect on there. All right. So what I want to do now is parent this to the ball, but I don't want to parent the layer to the movement of the ball because um, I need the effect to move. So I need to parent the position of the effect to the position of the ball and that will work much better because the movement will be inside the effect and give us the proper motion we need for the particles. So I'm just going to open up the position on the ball, go to here, open up the producer on the effect itself. So I'm not parenting the layer. I'm going to go to the producer here, the position for the effect. I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch and then use the pick whip from the expressions editor to attach that to the position of the ball. All right, now we've got this weird shower coming from the ball. No problem. 
I'm going to change some of the settings. I'm going to, first of all, animate the birth rate. So I'm going to start at zero, add a keyframe, come forward a few frames. Let's make it say 20. And so we get an explosion. And then maybe I'll just keyframe that back down again. So maybe add a keyframe here. And as it comes out, keyframe that back down, all the way back down to zero. So and I'm going to change the longevity so it's quite short particle to about point, point 0.3. Okay, I'm going to change the gravity to zero. I'll make this jet sideways. I'll take the velocity down, all the way down to something like point 0.1. Okay, the inherent velocity, if I take that all the way back, ooh, maybe to that minus 100 perhaps, I'll get more of a streak. Okay, so it's starting to look a lot better now. All right, now I'm going to take the particle, change it to faded sphere. I'll change the color, the birth color to the same kind of orange as the as the globe, let's just zoom in a little bit on that. Pick a orange color, yeah, and maybe make this same shade of red. Okay, so it's starting to look good. What can also uh, help is adding a little bit of displacement to this. So let's and also. We've got some sort of band in here. If I go to the project settings and make this project 16 bits per channel, you'll see that this will look smoother. So now I'm going to go into my effects and presets and I'm going to type in turbulent and I'm going to use turbulent displace on this and I'm also, I might just also change the, uh, on the particles, maybe take the radius down a little bit, a little smaller radius, and uh, the particle size, I might take the birth size a little smaller, and just maybe, maybe increase the size variation, just to add a bit more randomness And then I'm going to add the uh, displacement effect. Okay, I'm going to increase the amount there, increase the uh, make the size kind of quite small. Okay, and just play with some of these settings. Maybe increase the complexity a little bit. And I might just do a twist perhaps there we, okay just adding okay so now it's with that effect we've got much more of a kind of flamey type effect okay, that's so put this layer behind the basket maybe even behind the ball And maybe on top of the ball, maybe change the blending mode. I might have that on multiply. Nope, maybe add. Okay, uh, maybe I'll just have it on normal screen perhaps. Nah, I think I'm just going to have it on normal and just take the transparency down a tad. Just not too much. Okay, so you get the idea there. So that is again, there's the original. Uh, so just added just a little bit more playing about there to get to get the optimum settings. 
but uh, that's all just playing about with the particles and um, great little great little bit of after effects there bit of compositing bit of particles nice globe effect and you're away so enjoy making fiery hoops thank you